Hey, Luke, what's going on? Oh, wow. Tom called. The banister on the stairs has to be replaced. It'll be $4,000. Tamson Corbally called. He needs a deposit on the quarter sawn oak. It'll be $4,000. Julio the landscaper called. I have no idea what he said, but it's going to be $4,000. <gasps> Vicky from Vicky's horse supply called. She thinks pepper and gun smoke would suit your needs, but gun smoke snores, so the stables can't be too close to the guests' bedrooms. Rory's looking for her black converse. And oh, one last thing. I'm not taking messages for you anymore. Sorry, sir. What did you do? A business cards printed up? People just know I'm here a lot. I missed a call from my meat guy because I was on the phone discussing gun smoke's deviated septum. I'm going to call all these people today and tell them never to call me here again. You bet you will. Consider it done. Good. Just, what? Sorry, just, uh, one more thing. Did a package arrive for me here what? today? What? I'm sorry, never mind, never mind. Uh, Luke, sorry, I'm cutting it kind of close here. Oh, oh, sorry, Ed, I, I didn't realize you were cutting it kind of close. Everybody, drop everything. Ed's cutting it kind of close. Here's your tickets. You seem mad. Look, Ed, just go to the game and enjoy, okay? And choke on a hot dog while you're at it. I have to tell you, Luke, I am never accepting anything free from you again. What a threat! Well, you're a real master of fear there, Ed. Look out, Jason and Freddy. Ed may never mooch off of either one of you ever again. What is wrong with you? Nothing. You're yelling at Ed. Eh, Ed bugs me. Ed cries. I'm just having a bad day. Z Excuse me? Days. You've been stomping around here barking at people for days. I have not. Yes, Cujo, you have. I always talk to people like that. No, Benji, you don't. I'll be fine tomorrow. Really, Lassie? Why is that? <sighs> Look, I bought these tickets for Nicole because she's a Yankees fan. I thought it'd be nice if we went to a game together. Oh, man. And it's no big deal. I mean, the closer I got to the game, the more I felt like a loser. I mean, I'm sitting here on these tickets, which means I thought I'd still be in a relationship. I don't know. Stupid. I broke my own rule. I asked for it. What are you talking about? Never plan for anything more than two days in advance. That's your rule? Yes. Because when you make plans, then you have expectations. And when you have expectations, then you will get disappointed. Having expectations also gives you something to look forward to. Yes, then you're looking forward to being constantly disappointed. You're not that cynical. I am today. Hey, I have an idea. Tomorrow night is usually movie night. What? Rory and I would always rent a bunch of movies, order food. It was our thing. Now she's at school and busy, so why don't you come over? It might be fun. Okay. Yeah? Sure. What else have I got to do? Ah, oh, I love when men say that to me. What time? Eight. Eight it is. I'll stop by the video store and pick us up a couple of movies. What do you want to see? I don't know. Well, come on, tell me. I, I don't want to get something you've, you've seen. Don't worry about it. I haven't seen anything. Oh, people always say that. Well, with me, it's true. Casablanca? Nope. You have never seen Casablanca? Are you kidding? Just get anything, please. Chinatown? Anything at all. Bonnie and Clyde. A video game would be nice also. It happened one night? His Girl Friday? Treasure of the Sierra Madre? Diner? I saw Mr. and Mrs. Bridge. Oh, my house. Eight o'clock. We have such work to do. I'll see you there. Oh, by the way, if my package arrives today, just bring it with you. Okay, thanks.